let's try with a indicator. However, let's use two different indicators in this. So let's say, okay, if Apple, uh, let's use RSI. And we'll just use here, um, let's just go with a 15 minute RSI, uh, crosses below, let's say Apple Inc. Um, SRSI, Stochastics RSI. And let's use here, let's use here a one, let's keep it in the same uh, time interval. So if it crosses below, then by 10,000 USD worth of Apple. Great, perfect. So here we're going with, um, we're just going with uh, in two indicators, actually. We're going with one RSI crossing below the Stochastics RSI. Um, Rob, let me see what you're posting up here. Okay, Rob, um, this is actually a frequently requested feature. Um, so awesome question. Um, traders, at the moment, capitalize, um, you can only trade with stocks that appear on the NYSA. We know that traders are looking for uh, non-US stocks as well, Canadian stocks, Hong Kong stocks, um, London stocks, and so on. And it is high up on our list of upcoming developments. So um, at the moment, Rob, you can't trade in the Canadian market with capitalize. However, um, you will soon be able to. Awesome question there. Um, okay, so let's get this going here, traders. We're going to run the strategy. And, hmm, okay, let's use this strategy as the last one with a trailing stop. So let's go close position at trailing stop. And let's start it off at a small trailing stop. So let's go of 1%. And let's click next. And we're going to back test. And um, while this is back testing, you know, run your strategies through, get what you want and um, the, uh, the criteria that you want to use and just create it while it's running. So this is running. That's great. Let's clone the next one. And we're going to use the exact same entry and we're just going to adjust the exit. So we're going to keep it like this and we're going to go next and let's just say, okay, 2%. Let's see if we can get a better one. And then let's take whatever, whichever one is the best out of these two and let's run it over another stock and see how it comes out. So I'm going to go to my strategies where I can get a better view of both these strategies and the performance of them. Um, and uh, whichever one performed best, let's just run it over another stock and see what happens. And then later on, we're going to run one strategy over quite a lot of stocks. Um, and that's where you really want to be. You want to be testing it over uh, a large group of assets. And, you know, if you're a tech trader, you want to be sticking with tech stocks. If you like to trade banking stocks or, uh, you know, uh, whatever stocks you do like trade, keep in that genre. What strategy that works with tech may not work in the banking sector or um, another sector. Um, great, perfect. So these are completed. This is 66 hits at 8.16%. That's a nice sample size. Here we got a 2%, we got 23. So this seems to be better. Um, it all depends on your psychology and, um, you know, the way you like to trade. But let's run this over another stock. So how I'm going to do that, go to your control panel and you're going to select clone. Remember, don't rerun or edit, rather clone it so you keep your original back test. And um, let's test this over, hmm, let's test it over Tesla and see how it comes out. So. At the moment, um, you can't uh, run a single strategy over a group of stocks. Uh, this is upcoming. So soon you're going to be able to group all the stocks you normally trade with, and you're going to be able to create a strategy and run it through those stocks. However, for the moment, the way I just did it is how you should be doing it. Go and clone it. Just uh, click on the bold words in the wizard and just change the assets. Um, and then let's go back to my strategies and see how this strategy performed. 
and we got to get moving here because we got some other strategies we want to run as well. So let's see if we've uh, managed to get some good results from two assets and then we'll run it over five or six. We'll run another strategy um, just now. So great. So we managed to optimize this apple just by simply changing the trailing stop. We're not even doing anything exciting here. Um, we're going to get into in the next strategy. We're going to work with profit and loss. Um, but right now, uh, we're, you know, this is very basic. This gives you a really good idea of how the strategies are running with just a trading stop. Um, it really, uh, you know, lets the strategy flow. Uh, let's see, I've got some questions coming in here. Portfolio testing, Ryan, awesome. Okay, so I got your question there. Uh, Ryan, that is, a, that is a frequently requested feature. So um, trade is for all of you. Um, it's very important. You can't run a single strategy over a group of stocks just yet. Um, you will soon be able to, and we'll, uh, as usual, we'll update you on that. Um, David, elaborate on your question a little bit there. Um, and while you're doing that, uh, let's just have a look here. Okay, Tesla came back really nice as well. We got a really good sample size. I generally like to aim for above 50 hits um, to get, um, uh, you know, to get a decent idea of how the strategy is running. You can see here we had 58.1%. Uh, so you can take a strategy like this and start running it over multi, uh, over different stocks just by simply cloning it. And when it comes up into the wizard, um, what you want to do is any word that is bold in the wizard, you can change at the click of a mouse. So Tesla, you can change, for instance, to GameStop. Um, not that I'm looking to trade that right now, but you see how quick and easy it is. It takes a couple of seconds. Once you get the hang of it, you can run a lot of stocks through a strategy um, in a couple of minutes.